Hello everyone and welcome to our commentary of Melda. Yay! Another <laughs> Raul Dahl uh, Raul Dahl. book well, actually, this is the first one. Pick. Well actually this, isn't this the first Raul Dahl adapt adaptation we've commented it on? Um, yeah, yeah. It is. We haven't done any of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, films. Movies, this is actually... And we haven't looked at the BFG either. This is actually one of my favorite movies piece. growing up. All right, Deb, so why don't you tell us who directed this movie? Um, it was directed, co produced, and stars of all people, Danny, Danny DeVito. DeVito. Yes. <laughs> Basically, this was actually kind of a, pep, uh, um, a, a passion project for him because he was a huge fan of the book and he's always wanted to make um, a movie out of it. And this is what you're seeing. Wait it. a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. So let me get this straight. Danny DeVito was a big fan of Raul Dahl's work, ended up doing a movie around that. Tim Burton was also a big fan, ended up doing a few works for him. And then the two eventually converged into Batman Returns. It all comes together here. Well, this, they bonded well, this over their love for the books, I guess. <laughs> well, this came after Batman Returns, so... Oh. Uh, Mena agrees. <laughs> Bennett does not approve of any of this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So start before right. the good old TriStar Pictures logo. Yeah. So Shiroi, since it's your pick, let's have ourselves a countdown. Three, two, one, play. Yeah. For some reason, I don't see TriStar Picture logos as much. I don't know what became. Well, of I, I, I think TriStar kind of got bought up by another company and well, changed. Well, TriStar, TriStar is Sony Pictures' B movie studio. Oh God, what happened to them? They used to be like you know their frontliners. Nah, so Columbia, 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 Columbia. Those, those are in search of a Sony Pictures Corporation. There you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> Columbia's always been their A studio. Well, I'm talking about dribs. There was wow. a time. When... Well, well then. You don't waste any time. I mean, you, straight into it. Oh, oh, oh! So this is where David Cage got the inspiration for close-ups. <laughs> Only Danny this DeVito. was actually cute. And of course, and he's David also the also gives us our narration. Jesus, I'm surprised he didn't write this film. Well, fortunately, though, unlike Steven Spielberg, Danny DeVito realizes that he's not a writer. Wait, when did Steven Spielberg try to write? AI. Well, wasn't that kind of a collaboration between him and Stanley Kubrick from Beyond the Grave, to be well, fair? Well I'm, well, I'm talking about the script, uh, the actual dialogue and writing, because, um, like I said, Kubrick only contributed with the, the the original concept before he died. Wow, Danny DeVito's not playing a deranged lunatic. Uh, Dwayne, uh, have you seen again, this movie? Dwayne's. Have you seen this movie or read the book? It was a long time ago. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Pestering his sister. What else? Uh, you didn't think to strap the baby seat in? I I, I assure you, Dwayne. Danny DeVito is playing his usual uh manic character. Don't worry about it. Right. We. <laughs> you guys are already terrible parents. <laughs> well, hey. First ter thing about Ro first impression of Royal Doll. He doesn't seem to to grasp the concept of physics that well. Also, rule mm -hmm. number two of Road so Dial. He's a Sonic fan. Not only that, mm -hmm. but in Road <laughs> Dial, unless you're a poor kid who has absolutely no money, your parents are either dead or dicks. <laughs> but this family seemed to have a really big house and stuff, and these parents already seem like dicks. Well, it's like I All said, right. you're right. Uh, are dicks. <laughs> All right, everybody. The, um, this is, of course, Matilda, the baby. And um, the actress who plays um, 10 year I think she's 10. Or seven, whatever. Yeah, but we'll the actress playing the Matilda later. is, of course, Mara Wilson. One of the biggest, much like Macaulay Culkin was the big uh, boy child star of the 90s, Mara Wilson was pretty much the female equivalent. Um, she actually uh, appeared in a lot of uh, family films and before eventually stopped making. Uh, fortunately, unlike Macaulay Culkin, uh, Mara Wilson actually um, didn't go off the deep end and is still um, a perfectly sane person today. Wait. In fact, she actually has a blog and she's even sh cameoed in a Nostalgia Critic uh, review of one of her movies and everything. Oh, she also showed up on Doug's uh, short... Well, I don't know if he's still doing it, but his Shut Up and Talk videos where he basically talks to actors. Yeah, yeah he did. Them, yeah, so. she, yeah, she did. It's yeah. actually rather informative, seeing as how during one of the movies she was filming, her mother was incredibly sick, so she was under a lot of pressure to act well. 
Was it this movie, actually? Here's an interesting thing. Uh, Mara Wilson actually wrote a book about why teenage child Hollywood stars tend to go off the deep end. Um, it's because, they, uh, to make long story short, they basically don't have, have a normal childhood. So they end up getting wrong perceptions of what life is like. And then there are the kid actors who... And also not only that, as they... Um, sorry, as they go, as they grow older, like personality-wise, they're not able to grow older. Like they, they have to keep this childlike image, and that isn't very good for people. And then mm -hmm. you have the kids who have an entire career on looking cute, and mm -hmm. well, they can go either one way. Either they stop looking cute, and then they realize, oh wow, I actually have to change up my stuff. Or there are the sad cases where they're stuck looking cute for reasons and well that just gets all the more pressureful fortunately unlike uh, macaulay culkin i actually think mara will mara wilson is a, a, de a somewhat decent actress oh, i thought culkin was good back in the day too but uh, uh, I'll, I'll honestly honestly Java, i think even in home alone he, he he had a lot of wooden delivery <laughs> what about good son ugh <laughs> the less I talk about that piece of crap, the better. But uh, yeah, actually, what what did become of Culkin actually after he stopped, you know, being a child uh, actor? Well, aside from uh, well, as, well, well, drug. Isn't, you, he, you know, better, they, isn't he better now? Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm. I don't really keep up with what's going on with him. Honestly, I don't really care. I already got better. Well, granted, I haven't seen him much stuff. But anyway, this is Matilda, a girl who. Well, yeah, she's still a preteen, and by the age of three, she learned how to take care of herself. Yeah, that's like the thing. It's like, where did she learn that from? Because her parents are shit. Natural uh, adaptation, uh, well, she Natural well, adaptation. Here we go, she learned it from the library. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> basically, so, yeah, her parents weren't interested in actually, you know, giving a shit about her, so she had to basically, you know, learn, learn shit herself. But what? But well, she was talking about the shitty parents thing. Well, she honestly, from my experience, this tends to be pretty much a common trope in British books. I know, right? <laughs> you know, one thing I never got. Are though... British parents really that shitty? No, no, no. Are you no. sure? I, I, I mean, it, 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 it keeps it keep it keeps coming uh it, it keeps coming up in British fiction. Well, to be fair, I guess to me more so, it, I guess it's often the orphanages of the step parents in Britain. Well, I guess it's like the British equivalent to what Japan does with tragedy. Sure, let's go with that. Now, I'll admit, here's one pet peeve I've always had about the story, Matilda. I never got, why do her parents like her? I mean, I mean, why do her parents not like her, but they like their son? I mean, like, well, they never really do mention why I mean, like, it's, it like they didn't. My guess, it. well, she, well, Joe, but this is a common, this is a common trait in family stories where the parents always have a favorite and they don't give a shit about the other one and shit. It's a common. This was in a lot of '90s movies as, as well. This why? is just a common thing oh, that get, writers like to do. Oh, I get that, but usually it was the younger kid who was the favorite, and you know, usually the stories about the older kid getting mm. jealous and stuff. Not really. It actually tended a lot more to be the firstborn son rather than. Okay, fair point. But, well, you get what I mean. It's like, well, you, there were quite a lot of stories, but I guess my only pet peeve is well, like, well, they never really do give a reason why he's their favorite. Like, well, did they not want another kid? Hey, Mara. Yeah, Mara Wilson. Oh, yeah. She doesn't even look too different to this day, I'll admit. Well, I mean, she's a lot taller. Well, why? Why? At least, at least we're not watching Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Hi, I like that movie. Oh my god, that movie! <laughs> oh, I like it uh, fine. I mean, I will. Uh, I'll admit uh, it has Wikipedia. problems, and yes, they should not have cut out a lot of the content. That would have actually made it a bit yeah. more. Basically, Joe, but that, that's another thing we can add to the list of America's oh, screen, I, I, I love this upcoming joke. <laughs> Aw, there's that cute little wisp she's got. Yeah. No, not book. <laughs> yeah, she's right. 
uh, when Hino came up with Bonnie and her mother, maybe he was doing a throwback to Roald Dahl. <laughs> that would not surprise me in the least. Oh, that's <laughs> you. Let's let's have a chat, shall no, no, we? No, 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 no. Don't you see, guys? Don't you see, guys? They have gone so <laughs> off the deep end that anything that actually seems right to us he, he normal human beings seems absolutely bonkers to them. <clears throat> I gotta say, in regards to kids who have traumatic childhoods like this, she's not turning out nearly as bad as the cliches would have you believe. Well, you are Daniel DeVito. True that. Yes. Oh, of course. Her father is a used car salesman. Of course. And played by Danny. He also looks like your stereotypical one in fiction, too. Well, it is Danny DeVito, a guy who's known for playing crime bosses and whatnot, too. I can see that. <laughs> Who asked you? Uh, the writer, Dad. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> she she's smarter than you, all three of you. Combined. She took a bloody yeah, axe they, to only his... Only when they deserved it. <laughs> a bloody axe. That's what right. that makes it better. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, actually, that would have been the perfect setup for a horror story about a child deciding to punish her parents properly. Who did the score for this film? Oh, David Newman. Poor David Newman, he was in. He, later on, he would go on to compose music for such classics as um, Tarzan 2013. Really? Oh, and The Spirits. Wow, what is it with. Wait, our... is, that, uh, is that the Frank Miller Spirits? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, what other spirit were you talking about? Um, the, the DreamWorks movie. Well, that's just called Spirit, not The Spirit. I know, it's just a. It's... It's still only one word, so it's kind of easy to mix up the two. Although, the difference being that Spirit from DreamWorks is... good. Yeah, it's really good. I actually really like it. it it's basically DreamWorks <laughs> is Bambi. <laughs> in a way. Just move, kid. <laughs> Hang on, what does she replace it with? You'll see. He's going to lose his hair, isn't he? <laughs> You'll see. Or it's going to be blonde or bright orange or some shit. <laughs> Yeah. Funny you mention that. <clears throat> he 
he feels like um, yeah his whole attitude like up until now it feels like he never actually wanted a daughter mm -hmm. i think like i feel like he expected his second child to be a boy as well yeah i mean i guess i would get that although no, almost uh, the way he speaks to his son yeah i would get that i guess my main wondering is why both of them are like that eh. that's right here we go yeah, it's. <laughs> I think it, I think it's more so the mom doesn't really care. Yeah, actually, that could be the case. Or she could be trying to mooch off of him, considering like she comes across a type who would do that. <laughs> yeah, and you look at that—the FBI's got their eyes on Danny. Yes, oh, look very, at that. Using very... a Sony tape recorder. No, maybe not very subtly either. That camera's fucking <laughs> How much do you want to bet that's a Sony camera too? I'm I'm 100% sure it's probably Even back in the <laughs> even back even back in the 90s uh, Sony uh, I don't think was, it's, uh, I think it very... said Sony. I think it said Night Nick something. Uh, uh what... are you talking about the tape recorder dude? Is that the great? camera? Uh, I was joking about the camera. But yeah, back in the day, uh, back in the nineties, uh, uh, Sony was already doing their shtick with the whole product placement that they're known for. Oh. That that takes doing it properly. <laughs> super <laughs> super glue. Good. Not even not even duct tape. Super glue. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'm 100% sure he sniffs that glue. <laughs> well, sir. <laughs> Here we go. That's adult logic as a whole. Awesome. That line is one of my favorite lines in <laughs> movies ever, and I've been quoting it all my life. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I love using that line. It's, uh... <laughs> no, listen, I'm, li li listen I'm big, really... you're small, I'm smart, you're dumb, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> but again, like I said, that's parental logic as a whole. <laughs> you know what's odd about this movie is its release dates. It came out in august in the states but yet we're here in the uk had to wait till december well it's an american made adaptation but it's a british but property. it's our shit <laughs> yeah well hey at least this seem at least this seems good so far unlike uh dougal <laughs> oh yeah i can't wait yeah, sure. didn't you oh yeah sure. uh, that's right Tash, i forgot to mention that didn't you tell me that you actually didn't like this movie as a kid no I don't remember. Ah, okay. Because I, I think I remember you saying that you didn't care much for this movie back when you were little. Well, you know, with me, that's a habit of not liking good things as a child and mm. liking them more as I got older. All right, sure. <laughs> Whoa, maybe that super goo is really super. <laughs> Someone's gonna fall in that cake tray, isn't it? Yep, he's gonna dun, fall in the cake tray. Dun, 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 I'm just waiting for it. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey! And. Hey! hey. If there's food around, y'all gotta fall in it. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh. Thank you. 
physics. <laughs> 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 I don't think he minds personally. <laughs> I don't think I even know what it is, but it tastes yummy. Ow. Dude, I don't think this is the appropriate time to be asking for respect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smoke too much, they'll end up all Ooh. Ooh. Ow. That's gonna burn. <laughs> Seriously, don't smoke too much, they'll blame you. <laughs> hey the kids the other kids smoking. Um uh, Matilda. Is no, no, yeah, no, the other one's doing it too. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <That's sticky. laughs> okay. Mm. She doesn't want to watch TV. She doesn't want to watch TV. She's not bothering you. <laughs> I... <laughs> this is basic this, this these parents are basically the the dumb kid a dumb kid's dream come true basically don't stop that studying shit uh just fucking read well, to be fair, you don't watch TV. Sorry. To be, to be fair, whether or not you were a dumb or smart kid back in the day, let's be honest, this is kind of how we always wanted it to be. <laughs> oh. Karma. Well, the show was so terrible that the TV exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't all TVs do that when Teen Titans Go is on? But I'm just... Jennifer Oscar that make that show. Actually, never mind that. What... Actually, never mind that. What about what about Why don't TVs in the '60s do that when Crossroads was on? Oh God! Or the Crossroads revival. Um. I don't even. Oh, and then we have the. There we go. Over. It's They're British. talking. Oh, there's, listen, listen. They're talking about how we only use a tiny portion of our minds and and shit like that, uh, and that our human mind uh, is the well, full scientific, potential. scientifically, so th that's true. Yeah. So. And, and, so yeah, this is so yeah. Let's watch your uh, Lucy rip this movie off. Oh, uh, listen here, listen here. Right. Listen here. <laughs> <laughs> You do realize you were a kid at once, you know. She I'm just said she wasn't, uh, so she was clearly a warlock. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, under, I'll say I'll never understand this mentality of people hating kids when you realize, dude, you were kids once, too. An exact line from my art teacher class was misbehaving was, I didn't come here every day to teach brats, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Crunch him whole. Wow, straight out of 80s 
Whoa, I it guess. Looks, it, looks, it looks just like the orphanage from Problem Child. <laughs> so, it's straight out of 1800s England orphanage, I see. That's another movie I have to pick sometime, Problem Child. Well, here's the principle. Yeah, just the principle and not the Ultra Tormentor. And apparently she's also a dominatrix, I don't know. And she's British, and that's how you know she's evil. Do the books, uh, do the books specify a time period? No, I don't think, I don't think Roald Dahl books have ever done that. <clears throat> oh, you mean like when it takes place? Yeah. Um, no, not really. That's how they tend to often be adapted into different time frames. So, this is what Green Chair would be like if it were wacky. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, boy. Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, actually not kidding, by the way. He, he lived. He got caught in a tree. Hammer throw? Yep. Yes. That's an event in yes, the Olympics. Yes, see, basically she, basically she missed Trunchbull is a fucking human bull. Well, to be fair, Hammer throw is an Olympics event. She even has no, I know, Jesus Christ, that's the put You see she you see Shiroi, uh, Miss Trunchball here is more manly than most men. <laughs> Got a good point. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> Oh god, that's a close-up. <laughs> <laughs> you see, unlike Shyamalan, Danny DeVito knows how to use close-ups. Um, uh, the the close-ups are, of course, meant to illustrate that we're in a weird, off-put place. Unlike in Shyamalan, where there's just close-ups because, well, I have no idea why. Um, funny enough, Pam Ferris, the actress playing Trunchbo, is part, is part German, part British. Oh wow! She was All right, that that role. explains why she was cast. <laughs> I love what she's over the way. My mommy says uh, says that my hair is good. Well, your mommy is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Uh, question. Well, that is how the hammer okay. throw goes. I, I don't think I don't think that little girl feels pain or their extensions. I, 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 I don't think I don't think I get the feeling Roald Dahl never had. Uh, oh. Yeah. oh no! Oh, oh. oh. <sighs> All right, thank fuck for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the was like, "Damn it, I missed." I'm... No, no, no. That kid's just like, "I'm free. I'm free." <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Yay! <laughs> yeah, we she calls in the chokey. She calls that room of hers the chokey. Yeah. She's also known as Snow White by these little cute dwarves. <laughs> Played I bet by... she's, uh... Oh, no, go ahead. 
played by um, M. Beth Davis, who was in other stuff like Schindler's List, Army of Darkness, uh, Bridget Jones's Diary, um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and, and the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Wait, who was she in the Amazing Spider-Man movies? Uh, Peter's mum. Peter's mum. Oh, was... right! I was gonna say, I bet she's the headmistress least favorite teacher. Hey, actually, mm. that gives me an idea. Uh, well, she, well, it's interesting you say that, because uh, we're gonna have a revelation about, about um, that later. <laughs> well, I guess you have to skip a grade now. That a, like does that actually exist in America? Because that's not a thing here. Uh, Jova, <clears throat> uh, skipping a grade? Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Huh, that's My not mom. a thing here. My mom's done it as well. What we do is we have, um, in each year, there are different um, levels of classes. So yeah, they like... just rank from one to seven, basically. Yeah, so... we have like year seven and eight. Mm. No, 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 what I mean is there's like year seven, class one, class two, class three, mm. going down from the brightest to oh, uh, look. the rest. Oh, look, she... <laughs> oh, look. oh, look, guys. She's been reading Charles Dickens, of course. Teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she reads Charles Dickens, not claims to be um, in the same league as um, <coughs> Chalskis. <laughs> Uh, well, there's, uh, well, sure. Uh, you you go with that one. I'll go with um, Shyamalan comparing himself to Kubrick. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. I'll uh, I'll come back later. Ah. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that have been a shame? I've never understood why people put those on the back of doors. Like, my uncle has one on the back of the kitchen door. I still don't understand. Well, my friend says he's right near the door. <laughs> well, not but too near, but... <laughs> 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 That's <gasps> why does she even work there? Discipline. Uh Remember, well, she hates children, so what better way no, to... No, 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 I meant, um, I meant, uh, Miss Goody. Um, because... Jan, you mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, she loves, uh, for, for the opposite reason, Dwibs. She loves children, so she would love to teach children. Remember, Dwibs, the only vicious adult here is, surprisingly, the principal. All the other teachers would be just fine teaching the way they would want to if she and weren't the one in charge. Also, principal, that is not how you throw a shot. Just say. Oh, don't worry, Shuri. She wasn't actually trying to throw it there. She was trying to be threatening there. Hmm. <laughs> 
But you asked her how was school. Yeah. Okay, I found I found my person that uh, says stuff immediately after I say it. In this case, Mara Wilson. <laughs> Maddie's reference. I think that was more like a boxing joke. No, 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 no. Dwibs, there was literally a 90s show called Saved by the Bell. Yeah, I know, but, um. I mean. <laughs> 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 yeah, boxing ain't that bad. Come on. Well, she's got a point. The kid's more. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just not not that. I'm just saying. Come on, boxing yeah, ain't yeah, that. Yeah, the show bad. isn't bad. Yeah. Well, better than the one they're watching the other day. Welcome to real life of parenthood, parents. <laughs> okay, I'll give him this. He's creative with his insults. <laughs> See, they got a new TV, though. Isn't that kind of... Holy shit, she screams so loudly that the fucking speakers even move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, funny story, um... At my school. Oh, that's yeah. cool. this is great. <gasps> anyway, I was just gonna say, at my school, um, assemblies used to be quite frequent during the first five, sort of six years or so I was there. But uh... they went all down to the point where I only had like one by the time I left. Uh -oh. Yeah, I mean, in the first, like for, uh, for dead primary school, man walking, first... dead man down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but for the first few years of primary school, an assembly would be held every morning, but in the last few years, it was a different year group every day mm -hmm. of the week. Yeah. So. Mm. <clears throat> so what did he do? Really? Although we didn't have chairs in our assemblies, we had to sit on the... We had chairs and benches. We had chairs in the, uh, the teachers had chairs. We had chairs in secondary school. 
<laughs> so he ate Mrs. Trunchbull, Miss Trunchbull's chocolate cake. How do they know it was him? Hold on. <laughs> oh yeah yeah that was the third one i had <laughs> and he said my mom's is better uh-oh oh hello Fudge that cake, my favorite. Oh, um, um. I must have it. That yeah. looks like it would be, I'd feel bloated after eating. Yeah. I once had a huge slice of a Maltese's cake. Chocolate cake can be too <laughs> Wait, he has it. She's that is that slice of cake, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You bitch. <laughs> well, it doesn't oh, seem no. like it doesn't seem like it's poison, at least. <clears throat> nothing up with it. Yeah, but now she gets to punish him afterwards, and uh, nothing can be done. And about here's it. A, and here's another nice um, trope: uh, the fat kid is the one that that loves eating. Because that's because uh, that's all fat kids do. They just eat. Although surprisingly, he's only eaten when asked to so far in this. True. Yeah. She's not gonna punish him, Shiroi. She's gonna reward him with more there cake. You go. Here's the is full she... cake. Wait, Jesus is she Christ. trying? Is she trying to kill him? Because. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, thank you, no, no. See, don't worry, sure. She was speaking figuratively when it came to sweat and blood. No, 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 no. Like she just like all naughty and oh god, no. Uh, <sighs> that was just to frighten him. But hey, delicious or not, he now has to eat that whole cake or face the consequences. Yeah, this kid's gonna have a heart attack before the end of it. Ah, uh, sure, it's okay. He's a nineties fat kid. That uh, means he can eat as. It means that he has a black hole in his stomach. and He can eat and eat and eat forever. Can yeah, I eat the cake? about that. Yeah, looks like he didn't get the nineties cliche handbook because he's getting full. Maybe a old nineties. Don't worry, don't don't don't, don't worry, Jova. He'll find the way. Today on Man vs. Food. See, if this were a usual 90s fat kid, he would have already finished it by now. Unfortunately... Yeah. He's gone. I hope he pukes on her shoes. If he pukes, though, then that'll give her all the more reason to punish him. Which means... Uh... Puke on her... Yeah, so it's worth it. Puke in her shoes. <laughs> Puke in her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Go but, get that diabetes! So if he gets a heart attack, it's the <laughs> children's fault. Yeah. Well, to be fair, if he doesn't eat that old cake, he's doomed. There will be no com there will be no commandership in my <laughs> in my school. <laughs> <laughs> You eat that damn cake. <laughs> no hope in my school! And he is done! Remi reminds me of that teacher from the Sidekicks. Hopeless. The kid is hopeless. Because that's the moral of any good school. You're hopeless. Just give up. <laughs> so what's he going to do? Throw him all in the chokey? Oh, Jesus. And the kid's bleeding on from the head. No, nah, it's okay. Remember, Dwayne, we're operating on cartoon logic.
I'm pretty sure Matilda might already know the dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> and let me guess, there's going to be a bit where the parents are asking why she's so late. She tells them the reason why they don't believe her. Oh look, uh, a Sony! Yes, look, a Sony TV! Well, to be, to, be, to be fair, Sony products are frequently advertised even in non-Sony movies. Well, it's a checkbox list. It's a checkbox list for Sony movies, Dwebs. You, you see, you, but you see, Dwebs, Sony owns the world. <laughs> <laughs> Speedboat salesman. <Huh>. Congratulations, <laughs> you can think. <laughs> Come on, I gotta train the next big Greek hero. Oh, Another look cool at thing. that, Pedro. Four friends looking for bugs. It's a very cool thing. Despite, um, despite his um, high A-list star status, uh, it's really cool that the name DeVito has always showed up in, in the Kingdom Hearts games as, as Phil. Yep. What, Dying DeVito is in those? Yeah, yeah. Well, remember, he was in the Hercules uh, Disney movie, so he reprised his role in every single Kingdom Hearts game. They try to that... reprise as many of the roles as they possibly can. James well, Woods is a... James Woods is eighties. Yeah, even the guy who played Tron in the Tron yeah. films voiced him. Yeah, yeah. Even and the woman Je who plays um, and Jeff Bridges, Isla, uh... and she's like ninety. <laughs> well, actually, Pedro Jeff Bridges didn't do Tron. <clears throat> well, wait, wasn't Jeff Bridges in Tron Legacy though? It was in Tron Legacy, but not the Kingdom. Oh yeah, Hearts but, but, but but that's the thing though. In Kingdom Hearts 3D, they did a world that they we return to the Tron world and they do the the Legacy storyline. That's what I'm saying. So basically, Tron's bull is mad because it turns out that the car Matilda's father sold her, of course, was well a cruddy one. So yeah, we have to hide anything that even resembles child happiness. Or creativity. You have to abolish any yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say abolish creativity. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, could you imagine it now if, if creativity were abolished here? What if some what if some of these kids were actually went on to make some some like stuff that most people today enjoy? Although to be fair, in secondary school like not just in the final years, but throughout, teachers kind of took all the fun out of learning for me. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. The only ones that really didn't do that were the science teachers. <laughs> oh boy. No laughing, no whispering, no gum chewing. Wait, so so the they're ripping off the um, what's that name again? Baby's kids, yeah, the baby's kids movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, here you go. Uh, well then, why don't you work in? There are schools that are all, only uh, have adult students. You yeah. can work in adults. Why? why? Exactly. <laughs> but Shira, but Shira, how will she get to torture children if she doesn't? Remember, Shira, torturing children sustains her. And now he, now he has a concussion. Uh oh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
the actress is completely and utterly into it. Then I guess she's gonna fire um But poetry is actually a good way to You're supposed to be teaching spelling, damn it! But that's how I was taught spelling in school. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, school. Uh, uh, that's all what says there. If you are having, if you are having fun, then you're not learning. Oh, see, th this that was secondary school in a nutshell for me. <laughs> I hope that lizard pissed in there. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. A snake uh, with arms and legs. <laughs> yeah. Do goats usually slime? <laughs> no. <laughs> Piss worm. <laughs> Piss worm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're actually not too wrong about her father there. But look. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. For a moment there, it looked like Danny was about to go straight into Trunchbull's mouth. <laughs> yeah. was, he, was, he trying to have a, was he trying to have a swallow the camera? <laughs> yeah, anything, they, uh... to add, well, lips, anything to make her look scarier. So Attack on Titan took a cue from this. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no, Seriously, there are so many in-mouth shots in that anime. <laughs> <laughs> eh, Catherine did it first. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, remind me again she when did the... There. the... <laughs> uh, Catherine came out in Japan in 2011 before Attack on Titan was a thing. Just saying. Yeah. I'll be watching you too, bitch. Well, it's kind of hard not to watch considering how <laughs> wide she is. Honey, don't sit there. <laughs> Just don't make it fall on her. And as usual with things like this, it's not going to it, like technology. She needs to practice first. So I have you committed to the nearest mental asylum? Yeah, so far she uh, can only seem to do the... Or... Yeah, pretty much that. iPhone. Tell, tell, tell me about it. <laughs> the recording, the recording curse is one of the biggest examples of that. 
<laughs> yes, just ask every LP or ever. <laughs> Including us. Speaking of recording, after this, I have an awesome thing to show you guys. I found a new Heavy Rain glitch. Oh! Really? It's like yeah, Sonic 06, it just keeps on giving. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's an evil looking mansion with forest trees around it. Cinderella? Cinderella or Snow White? Oh. Right. You know, Voss was going to say an angry rhinoceros appeared out of nowhere and gobbled him up. No, but he apparently killed himself. Was that in the actual book, by the way? I I think it may have the been... The rhinoceros. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was in the book. Royal Doll is fucking weird. Wait, Wicked Ass House? I mean, what is up with... Uh, you, know, you know what's interesting, Dwebs? Yeah. Uh, I get the feeling... Uh, when Hino created Leighton and was trying to, you know, bring in some British cultural elements, I figured he took this from Ro that element from Roald Dahl, the supernatural reveal plot twist. Hmm. I mean, think about it. Matilda has, of course, the fact that she has powers in, in FG. Um, we have that moment with the Queen that's so completely bizarre. In um, in in the God, the the giant, the giant peach thing, we have um, the rhinoceros thing. You know, I just realized something. It's, it's, it's fitting that she reintroduced this because Roald Dahl's a Welsh guy. There you go. Turns out she's the little girl. Uh, Trunchbull is her aunt. And it's hinted at that Trunchbull may have actually have murdered her father. There you go, Shiro. Snow White, yeah. indeed. You know, what is it with Snow White as characters often being teachers in the real world? Dahl. Hey, hey, all for reference. <laughs> Cute. Well, uh, unfortunate events does a lot more oh. than just reference. I mean, he's in the show. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! And look at that, guys. The teacher has a cottage to live in. <clears throat> what if "dal"'s a Welsh word for something? The dal of do. I wonder. Uh, no, I mean, cause like, like names from other countries, names do have meaning here. <laughs> Didn't you say your username has meaning, Shiwi? Uh, well, it, the Catlin part uh, has meaning for who I was named after. Uh, the Aleri part means princess. <laughs> oh. Here princess Phyllis. Oh, I should check this out. Jesus. <laughs> uh, the boots are freaking TARDIS. Hello, kitty. Aww. Hey, it's, it's a cat from to bring the teenage witch. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the, here, so yeah, here's here's the thing about Trunchbull. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lady that doesn't work. She, she, <gasps> oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm not. Are you a veterinary? Because I, I, I don't know if you're quali I, I don't know if you're qualified to dictate that. Not, I'm, not I'm, I'm that. gonna read this book after we're done with this because Nine. I want to see how much of this is actually. There. Wait, what, do you have the book? Nine lines. Can, um, older books on the Kindle usually only cost about two to three pound. All right. If I so, yeah. if I recall but correct, most of the unfortunate events most of the unfortunate events books are that cheap. Well, well, let's see. Well, let's see. If James and the Giant Peach is anything to go off of, this is this might be tamer than the actual book. Basically, Shuri, for reference, let's just say there are two certain adults who are actually killed by the Peach in the book. In the movie, by the, by the Peach. Yeah. yeah. Which means the Rhino. Okay. 
No, 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 no. By the Giant Peach. Let's just say uh, two certain adult characters who are pivotal to the plot actually die because they're rolled over to death by the Peach in the book. Uh, were you going to say something, Shiri? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't remember. The I never read that book. The only incarnation of James and the Giant Peach I saw was a theater. The movie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I took this out. She can actually lift up her fucking car. <laughs> not not full musicals, but stage plays. How did they manage to fit a giant peach in the theater? You'd be surprised with what you can fit in the theater, Dwebs. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. the chocolates expired now. Yeah, yeah by the, no, don't eat expired chocolate. <laughs> by that point, that chocolate should, should taste like let's taste like shit. But <laughs> 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 it's years old. You haven't got long. Can you put the lids on correctly, though? Yeah, that's gonna be... That's gonna be your downfall, um... Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> For how scary she is, she's also... <laughs> she's pretty funny, yeah. And also, the music that plays when we see her, like, the last two times... Her, her fame, yeah. Yeah, it kind of sounds like the Apprentice theme, the British Apprentice theme. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear it? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So basically, she's so basically this is what Alan Shoku would be like if he were a principal. Um, get her a car. <laughs> a good car, mind you. Aha, oh, I knew it. Oh, crap. Told you. I smell human humanity. <laughs> and I, smell I don't good. like it. I smell plenty of things. <laughs> Honestly, considering cliches, if I were in their position, I'd be more scared of her in this house than anything from any house in any horror movie. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> cat did it. <laughs> the, the, the cat did it. <laughs> but the cat returned. Oh look, a step ladder. So we're gonna find a body down here, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> or a skeleton. In the closet. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, what's she gonna do? Shop her. She's gonna pull a last of us and distract her with it. Yep. Holy crap. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> me me. Uh stop falling, stop falling, stop. So two burglars. Oh. Nailed shut. Just in case. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the whole house shook. Oh, oh Jesus! A bull, a bulldozer is coming towards us. Jesus! 
<laughs> okay, 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 okay. Between her and the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park, I think we'd be safer with the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park. Well, the, well, hey, even the ones in Jurassic World, I mean, at least they'll rip you apart easily. I mean, this one will probably take her sweet, sweet ass telling. Hell, I dare say the Velociraptors in Jurassic World had more humanity in them than her. Well, yeah, they just straight up ate you. They didn't talk to you first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can see the lights leave her eyes. What? <laughs> 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 time, to, time to eat some chocolate cake. <laughs> oh boy. God, she can move. Wow. Yes, she can. Acrophatic, I guess she is. Uh... Well, she's not really fat, she's more muscular. Well, so especially if she's throwing, them. if she's throwing things like shot puts and stuff, yeah, she probably is, and she seems to do it often. Yeah. Although after eating a cake like that or any food like, yeah, I I wouldn't be able to run like that. I'd keel over. <laughs> Jeez, this place is more messed up than a haunted house. <clears throat> My guess is Trunchbull doesn't like cleaning and tidying very much. Maybe we should introduce her to Olaf. <laughs> Which Olaf? Is her Olaf? I'd oh say Olaf, because she's not That's trying to kill the children. Uh, are you sure oh, she's oh, not never, trying to kill never them? Never mind. <laughs> aborted. Aborted. <laughs> you mean the Olaf from Unfortunate Events, Jova? Okay. Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah. Oh, um, did you did yeah. you think I meant the snowman drover? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> no, I meant Count Olaf. Okay, it's official. She is way more scary than Count Olaf. Count Olaf does not have the brains and the brawn. He just well, Olaf <laughs> tried to marry his adopted daughter. He mainly has the brain. She has both the brains and brawn. She's like a predator. <laughs> <laughs> You know, honestly, you know, honestly, if Joel had her as an assist in Last of Us, she'd probably barrel through everything that came their way. Yeah. Best. Come to school. Come to school and take this nah, nah. Honestly, honest, 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 Joel, a Naughty Dog game with her as an NPC character it would she'd be broken. She, she, she would bro break the. She would be too OP. She would break the game. <laughs> too OP. Please. Her. No, 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 Trunchbull. Two OP must know. Can you can you yeah. imagine? You know, one of those games where you just run away from something and it would just yeah. be Trunchbull. <laughs> Temple Temple Run Free Trunchbull. Tales. Trunchbull Run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd play that. <laughs> Me too. So the thing is, by all rights, that should be her teacher's house, but she's a bit afraid because, well, Trunchbull. Is that Bill Murray? No. The other actor, however, he looks a lot like um, pa um, Paul Rubens. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that's because he is Paul Rubens. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, actually. Huh. Eh. I'm actually surprised. I mean, you got Paul Rubens for such a small role where he doesn't even have any lines. Yeah, yeah. he had a few of those. Oh, yeah, 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 right, it is. And, huh. Oh, there you go, Steve. It turns out she doesn't care much for the boy uh, eater, apparently. Huh. Well, there you go. A 
Apparently, uh, it's, it's, Dragon, it, 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 it's Dragon Ball logic. Um, you can your powers awaken when you're angry. So she has the force. In a manner of speaking. So her power is channeled by hate. Use your aggressive feelings, girl. Let the uh, hate flow. Aggression is powerful, so I guess. Let the it. hate flow through you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, to be fair, Dweb, she is uh, the one holding the spoon, just not with her hands. Look, Ma, Eric, no hands! And then her parents burn her at the stake for being a witch. <laughs> they seem like the type that would do that on a... Yeah. Um, aren't I making a big mess of the place? <clears throat> well, uh, Web, sorry, but then he wants to show off his uh, directorial skills. Notice my directing. Notice my directing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you and I said it at the same time. Yeah, she does the dial. Well, actually, she didn't, but... Let there be light. Oh, no. It's it's Officer Sneaky and Officer Peaky. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's something. Hey, buddy. Who ever heard about just showing evidence right on the floor in court like that? Uh, what, what's life on Mars? They always ask... They, they, they always search places about a warrant. Fun fact, uh, Paul Robbins actually recently came back with a new Pee Wee Herman movie. Really? Netflix, a Netflix exclusive, though. Good old Netflix. Good for revivals. Or redos of films that didn't quite manage to get the job done. Uh, like... Daredevil. Uh, oh, series yeah. Of unfortunate events. I disagree on that one, but I definitely agree on Daredevil. I mean, not that I don't like the Daredevil movie, I do like it, but it's like a cake that's mostly good, but... Uh, no, 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 not even mostly good. It's good, but there's a lot of problems in it. And this well, is coming from a guy who logic. doesn't even like cake. Well, if we use food logic, then the Unfortunate Events movie is like a half-baked cake. Okay. <laughs> actually, you know what's a shame? If they actually were searching with a warrant, I'd almost bet she'd actually would have helped them. <laughs> you know, if they ever make a remake, I wonder if it'll be a DVD instead of a VHS. Well, yeah. Who knows, I mean, some people still do use VHS. I'm going to use my Jedi powers for good. Ultra good. Tonight on Idiot Box. I'm out to go and do justice. That's a frozen carrot. Eat this! Whoa. That'll teach him to eat his veggies. <laughs> 
With great power comes great responsibility. She's you gonna that's... traumatize the headmistress. It... Oh, um... you're sad. What? In 12 years, uh, David Newman went from working with Danny DeVito to Frank Miller. Oh, God. Wait, what? He oh, David, David, David Newman. Newman. Corporate spirit. Well, um, how's his career nowadays? Do you remember his most recent, one of his more recent movies was Tarzan, the 2013 one. Well, surely oh. there was something after that to help him redeem himself, was there? Not that I know of. Oh. Yikes. Oh, you know, someday we're gonna have to do a Squirm Generations where we show Shiro and Tio that movie, seeing as how that is the movie that kind of got me first introduced to Pedro. Mm-hmm. Basically, I know I went to see the Lego movie and there was a trailer uh, for that before the movie, and I was so baffled by how right. terrible the movie looked that I actually made a topic for it in this SMB, and it kind of exploded. What movie, sorry? Baffled. The Tarzan 2013, 2013 movie. Oh, okay. Back when, remember back when Lego Movie was a thing? Well, apparently some theater thought, hey, why don't we attach the Tarzan 2013 trailer to that? And, well, Pedro <laughs> saw the trailer, and the rest is history. See, yeah. one of the most biggest threads on SSMB regarding a movie topic because, because that, oh literally boy, every, that movie would bad from the start. Yeah, literally everybody was baffled by how horrible it looked. Little did we know, though, that the visuals were the least of that film's problems. Sure, let me put it like this. A Tarzan movie starts in space and with dinosaurs. And the yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Flack. This house looks more like a Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah, how does she not have leaks and stones and stuff if she's doing this to her house? Probably patches them up. Remember, Again, kids, those stealing chocolate is fine. Well, technically, Dweb, she did steal all of this from Jen, so... Jen? Jen is truly outrageous. Uh, no, please, no, Jova. That Jen? I mean, the uh, good Jen. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, True, the 80s go with Jen. Yeah, let me put it like this, Jiro. Right? The 80s show is actually more sensible than the recent 2015 film. Uh oh. Yeah, I no. think one of the complaints that the nostalgia critic had was about the social media references and everything being shoved in your face. Because that's what we all remember about Jen and the this Holograms. Coming, uh, this, this coming from the guy who accepted to be in the Sonic fan film. Yeah, honestly, to be fair, people were excited for that movie before the final product. I can see why. Well, but that's the fame, Joe. Wait, 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 wait. But... He was in that? What did he do? He was a silent role, honestly. He was a gun soldier. Oh, well, 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 of... well, oh. well, 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 remember, Shira, almost every internet celebrity cameoed in that movie for some reason. But the thing is, uh, like, well, Joe, but here's the thing. He actually, he actually got hired. He was actually in the production, so he must have read the script. Well, again, we have no idea what, what, what went on behind the scenes and, well... Who knows? No, Maybe. Magnus. Uh -oh. Oh. So yeah, she thinks that uh, the teacher's father is coming to haunt her. Uh, it's it's starting to become all and more implied <laughs> that she may have killed him. But uh, that would be he... just ridiculous, yeah. now wouldn't it? And remember, and remember, she's incredibly uh, superstitious. superstitious. Yeah, yeah. Add, oh. add a cap for good measure. A little bit more of this, and she'll be gone for good. Anyway, I was uh, going to say, around the same time, another Sonic fan film came out that was completely CGI and was a lot better than the movie you're referring to. Sonic Prologue, I believe it was. That's yeah, it. yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah that was actually really good. We have to do a commentary on both of those I really like that. I really like that one. 
Well, actually, didn't we already do the fan film? Yeah, but it's one we of our old exist. commentaries. I think got lost to the flow of time. Oh yeah, all right. Then. It was a uh -oh. very long time ago that we did that. Yeah, we were a lot less professional back then, too. I'll, I'll, I'll have to check, because I think I might still have mine. Well, I'd say maybe we should redo it all the same for the sake of quality, but... Uh -oh. It's only an hour, so... Also, sure. unfortunately... Actually, it's not an hour, it's 18 minutes. Wait. Oh, I thought it was like an hour or something. You're thinking of the, the OVA, OVA Shiri. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Trunchbull was about to leave, but then someone's ribbon got caught onto her car... Oh, and Matilda is missing her ribbon. She seems happy and nice. That ain't good. She seems happy and nice? I Compared to how she usually is. <laughs> She's skipping. You don't say. The tea... You tell... No. You're telling me the principal with a torturing room that she calls the chokey to put students in tossed a girl like a hammer toss by her pigtails, nearly killed a boy with food, is mad? Nah, I'm sure that's just a coffee. <laughs> nah, I'm so that's that's normal. Uh, yeah, I mean heck, I remember when my teachers forced me to go for a gauntlet filled with spikes. Yeah. I I, I remember my te I remember my teacher picked a girl by a pigtail and threw all the way across the adventure playground. And Shiroi, <laughs> remember that teacher you told us all about, the one that forced you and your students, uh, your fellow students, to go for Lava Reef Zone without any reason? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still getting PTSD Oh, right and she's uh, showing <laughs> off her powers. I love how she doesn't even... <laughs> I love how she instinctively pulls the thing down and doesn't even realize what's happening at first. Hmm. Okay, either I'm insane or you injecting me with whatever drugs you've been injecting into yourself, Missy. No, 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 honey, you're just in a royal doll story. Oh, never mind. I like how that's another thing that's, it's kind of a minor thing, but she actually touched underneath the drug. Mm. Like, brushed under it, because a lot of people would just be like, nope, nope, this is crazy, I'm out. Uh-oh. Let's traumatize a teacher. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <Yeah>. to see <laughs> here! <laughs> We're going to send you to war, you see. Um... Do you know the criteria? Um, Jesus. No. Yeah, like Revenge of the Fallen. Ballistic. <laughs> yeah, sadly, sadly, it's too much for me. Sorry. Yeah, ballistics are good insomnia cure, though. You certainly do have character. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's just the thing, Dwebs. Um, at least I can use that as an as an insomnia cure. <laughs> but I know something starting. Oh wait. The child didn't exactly enter. <laughs> the child didn't exactly enter your house. Yeah. Uh oh, she's got evidence. Oh uh. uh, no, not exactly. Shut up, no one asked you! <laughs> You're the demented one, lady.
Du. <laughs> Gah. You know, if there were horror music playing, this would uh, straight up yeah. be that. I hate the sound of chalk on a blackboard. <laughs> Wait, don't you see it, guys? This is scary, but for kids. Murder, he wrote. <laughs> Boy, Matilda wasn't kidding when she said, No more mill, Miss Nice Girl. Not only will she never teach again, she'll probably never leave her house. Yeah. Oh, well, that's just, well, she has to leave. Well, she has to leave house here. She has to leave town. And yeah, get, she's gonna leave town. And give the sure. teacher back her money in house. <clears throat> he may have killed her. I told her this was not part of the plan. Well, I I kind of thought that would kill somebody, but sure. <laughs> you never know. Sarcasm. Maybe, maybe she had a weak heart. <laughs> uh oh. It's from eating all that cake. And now a, a jump scare. Yep. <laughs> kind of expected that. There we go. Oh. oh, it's not even a jump scare. It actually has buildup. Very good, Denny. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so you just made it worse. Da, 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 da. You will believe. You will believe a kid can fly. <laughs> hey, it's more convincing than Superman Four. <laughs> that, that's hard. <laughs> nope. Sorry, Japan. Damn it, we crushed Japan. Now we'll never get the Digimon anime. Ooh, woo, woo, woo. You spin me right round. Whoa, <laughs> my head spinning. <laughs> oh, what a wild ride! Give up yet, Miss Trunchbull's wild ride? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Now there's thirty of you. <laughs> Ole! <laughs> Jeez. To be fair, she's very persistent in trying to is, kill these kids. <laughs> is this uh, woman, how I get down? Is this woman made of steel? That wouldn't surprise me. Know? Yeah. You told me, you asked me a while back, um, could determination ever be a bad thing? That right there. <laughs> well, it's only determined, it's only bad when the rule, when it's used in the wrong hands. I'm talking about Miss Trunchbull having it. Yeah, I was just yeah. wondering, yeah, you know, how's she gonna get down? Aww. I'm Supergirl! <clears throat> Payback. <laughs> how do you like them apples and M&Ms and eggs and cake? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the gross cook's still there, though. Boy, she takes over. Yeah, she was only taking orders from Transpol. Even toilet paper gets front of her. So there you go. It's not a dead spirit that scares her off, but the kid's finally fighting back, that too. 
And now the house is back to its rightful, proper way. Yeah. The, collar, the collar even changed to accommodate for the change of owner. Uh, the more you know. And the knowing is after battle. <laughs> Did you know... Hey Miss, hey, Miss, hey, Miss Chen, did you, Miss Chennings, did you know that under, uh, the, under Chuck Norris's beard, there's not a, 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 um, a chin, it's only under a fist? No, I eh. didn't. <laughs> They're moving because, uh-oh, the police may be on their tails. <laughs> he still thinks... Or maybe he realizes and just doesn't want to admit she was right. Wow! A case where the step parent is actually better than the actual parent. Wow, she's been <laughs> waiting for the moment she would get adopted. It's not like we ever loved her anyway. Mm. Oh, that's a... <laughs> well, wait, hold well, on, that, hold that, on, that, wait, listen the, to this. That, that's the best we're gonna get. <laughs> the first decent thing they ever did for their daughter was signing her off for adoption. Let that sink in! An act that is usually considered despicable by parents in most stories is actually the best thing her parents could do in this one. And then the parents and the kids were arrested. Probably. For what? Uh, well, for fake well, the, the crimes. Well, the well, the parents can get arrested, yes, but I'm pretty sure the kid is too young for that. Juvenile hall. Well, cause, well, considering this world, he might get done for aiding and abetting. True. How old is uh, how old is the brother? Do we know? I think he's like. I eight? think he's thirteen or something. I don't know. Because, like, mm. well, I think oh, I think over here in the UK, at least, if you're above the age of ten. You I, can technically be arrested. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's in the double digits. But where you get sent is different, but you can be arrested at 10 years old. Ah, yes. The 90s, the cheesy music. Yes. And the so zoom up all, montages. All, all that's missing is a freeze frame at the end. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Rollerblading indoors. Get it on my way because the book is its way. Ha! Huh? You're so clever, Denny. Huh? Call me Ishmael, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. That was Matilda. <laughs> is there, there's no post credits. Is that? Oh, it's not. It's no, no, I'm, pre <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No. I'll double I'm check. I'm checking right now. No, there isn't. Okay. Just check. Okay. All right. So, final thoughts. Uh, uh, Pedro, do you want to go first? My, me? Oh, okay, sure. Uh, like I said, this is a childhood favorite of mine, and I still love it to this day. It's so fun, and uh, it, it's, it, it, of course, it has its own weirdness, but I, at this point, I come to accept it's just how Roald Dahl does, does things. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 really, it's really funny. It's got a lot of charm. Uh, the characters are really entertaining. 
uh, Trunchbull is a great villain. She's literally larger than life. Literally. Oh, yeah. um, She's and, scary and hilarious. <laughs> and, the, and of course, like I said earlier, Mara Wilson is uh, one of the rare 90s child stars that actually was somewhat decent at this. Um, but uh, but I guess it was for the best that she did, she stopped acting altogether, as she put it in her book. Okay. So yeah, it's an awesome movie. All but, right, uh, I'll go next then. Uh, yeah, over then. Yeah, I gotta say, as a kid, I was kind of bored by this movie. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, go ahead, some fun. Am I the only it? kid who who was uh, who enjoyed movies right at the first time I saw them? Oh no no no! I mean, like, well, there were plenty of movies I enjoyed my first time, but this is one of those ones that. I thought it was good, but I kind of thought it was so so compared to a lot of other movies. But looking back at it, yeah, I have a much deeper appreciation for it. It's funny, it's zany, it's quirky, and it's actually aged relatively well with time, honestly. Heck, uh, even the effects are not too shabby. Um, the story is, of course, as keen as ever. Um, it's a lot of fun. Teaches a few good morals here and there as much as it can, being one of those wacky road dial um stories. And of course, yes, the characters are all over the walls, insane and zany, but I love them for it, especially Trunchbull. And yeah, the music is also sweet too. So yeah, great movie then, and a great movie now. Okay, all right. Dweebs, you go next. Come on, Sherry. Oh, more Dweebs, whatever. Um, okay then. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. I think I think the last time I saw it was when I was in school. But um, I mean, it's held up decently well. I think, although there's some dodgy effects here and there, though. But well, still, the 90s, you know, so it's, 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 it's the nineties. It's in case of its time. Bomb. In case of its time, like, is this was the were the effects good for its time? I can think of far worse 90s movies. I can think of 90s movies that have far worse effects. Mm-hmm. Take mm-hmm. them. Alright, go ahead, Shuri. Alright, that was a lot of fun. I don't understand why, in terms of the Roald Dahl stuff, this one didn't stick with me as much. Because I watched, I went back to the BFG a lot, and I mean the original animated movie, and of course, you like you can't really get rid of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and uh, but yeah, this this was a lot of fun. It was really funny. Um, um yeah, I just enjoyed it. Awesome. I don't have any. I don't really have anything in depth to say. It was just a fun movie. It is. We'll see what next world doll adaptation we we commented on. Okay then. All right then. See ya. See ya. See ya. Yeah.